This was never actually meant to be a, a mosque. It was actually built back almost 70 years ago and they bought it when it was a church back in uh, 1998 uh, to help meet the needs of the growing Muslim community in Canada. The congregation has grown exponentially since then, alhamdulillah, but the space doesn't really meet our needs anymore. On Fridays, we have five prayers happen sometimes. The women are stuck praying in the kitchen. There's no space for kids, so it's, it's clear that we've outgrown the space. Ten years ago, we launched this campaign in order for the community to have space and for us to grow. Uh, we knocked on doors, fundraised around the city and across the country. Finally, we were able to buy five acres of land in the newest part of the city where the government is going to be building a um, new hospital, new high schools, and also a transit rail station. Um, and it just made sense to go where the city was growing. This will be a hub for families and diverse communities and a perfect place for us to plant the seeds for success. You know, I, I remember the very first time that I participated with the community, I never felt so welcomed. And it's so important for me as a new Muslim to be involved in my community. Our religion is one where it's communal. It's about working together. It's about helping one another. The community has a dream of building a brand new mosque in Edmonton South. And as a longtime resident of South Edmonton, I also hope to one day raise my own family here. I want to contribute to this project and make sure we make it a reality. We have a vision for a modern purpose-built center for families, newcomers, classes dedicated to women and youth in the community, um, to build a school and a space for future generations to call home. With more families moving into this area, El Farouk will be uh, one of the largest mosques in the city. We've come so close to creating the center that we need in Canada today. With the ongoing pandemic, the local recession, it's, it's a tough time and a lot of people in our community are struggling. So we need your help to keep our momentum going and to cultivate our future. Mm -hmm.